ever wondered what the most beautiful places on earth are? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take you on a wild ride. Today, we are not just planning a trip around the globe, but a journey into the heart of beauty itself. You see, beauty, much like a good cup of tea, is subjective. It depends on the beholder. And let's be honest, for some of us, the most beautiful sight might be the glowing screen of our television from the comfort of our favorite couch spot. Yes, I am talking to you, my fellow couch potatoes. But let's shake things up a bit, shall we? Let's venture beyond the familiar, beyond the everyday, and into the extraordinary. Imagine swapping the glow of your TV screen for the glow of a thousand twinkling stars in a clear night sky. Ready to take this leap? Good. But today let's step outside our comfort zone and explore the breathtaking beauty our planet has to offer. Scene script. Let's start our journey in the east, where sunrise, sushi and sumo wrestling rule the day. First up, we have Japan, the land of the rising sun. And speaking of rising suns, have you ever seen a sunrise through cherry blossoms? It's like Mother Nature herself painted the sky with a palette of pinks and purples. It's so beautiful, it could make a sumo wrestler cry. Well, if sumo wrestlers were into that sort of thing, just imagine. You're there, in the heart of Kyoto, surrounded by a sea of cherry blossoms in full bloom. It's breathtaking, it's serene, it's achu. Oh, just remember to pack your antihistamines if you're allergic to pollen. You wouldn't want to ruin the moment with a sneezing fit now, would you? Next, we're off to China, home to one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Wall. This awe-inspiring feat of architecture stretches over 13,000 miles. That's like a lot of bricks. And each brick was probably laid down with the same enthusiasm as a Monday morning. You know, the I don't want to, but I have to kind of enthusiasm. Now picture this. You're standing on the Great Wall, looking out over the vast rolling hills. It's a sight that makes you feel small, yet powerful, all at once. And you know what else it makes you feel? Hungry. Because all that hiking is bound to work up an appetite. Good thing China is known for its delicious cuisine. Just don't ask for a fortune cookie. You might get a few strange looks. From cherry blossoms to ancient walls, the East has a way of making even the simplest things seem grand. It's a place where beauty and tradition intertwine, creating a tapestry of experiences that are as diverse as they are captivating. Who knew the East could be so astounding? Let's continue our journey, shall we? Now let's jet set to the West. Hold on to your cowboy hats, folks. Picture this, a yawning chasm of rock stretching out as far as the eye can see, a tapestry of reds, oranges, and browns. This isn't just some artist's fever dream, but the majestic Grand Canyon in all its glory. It's a sight that will make you go grand in admiration and I'm not canyon around. But the West isn't just a one-trick pony. No, sir. It's got a few more aces up its sleeve. Imagine standing in the heart of Alaska under the cloak of night. Suddenly the sky comes alive with an ethereal dance of colors. The northern lights, or if you're feeling fancy, the aurora borealis are definitely a sight for sore eyes. It's like a disco party thrown by Mother Nature herself, and you're on the VIP list. And let's not forget about Yellowstone, where the ground literally bubbles and steams. It's like the Earth's own hot tub, but without the rubber ducks. You've got geysers firing off like nature's fireworks and hot springs in every color of the rainbow. It's a place that truly erupts with beauty, if you catch my drift. Heading south, you'll find yourself in the land of the redwoods. These towering giants will make you feel like you've stumbled into a fairy tale. But don't worry, there's no big bad wolf here, unless you count the bears. But they're more into picnic baskets than huffing and puffing. And let's not forget the vast untamed beauty of the Rocky Mountains, with peaks that scrape the sky and valleys that plunge into the earth. It's like the world's most dramatic roller coaster, but without the safety bars. So there you have it, the wild, wonderful and utterly wacky West. It's a place where nature takes center stage and boy, does she know how to put on a show? See, the West isn't just about Hollywood and fast food. It's got its fair share of natural beauty too. Next stop, the South, where the temperatures and the attractions are hot, hot, hot. Picture this, 
the Amazon rainforest, a green jewel that's home to more species than any other terrestrial ecosystem. Now, you might ask, how does one accessorize in the Amazon? Well, the answer is simple. A well-placed leaf, of course. And don't forget your mosquito repellent. The Amazonian mosquitoes are so big, they've been known to carry away small children and the occasional lost tourist. Just kidding, but they do love a good bite. From the lush canopy of the Amazon, let's dive into the deep blue of the Great Barrier Reef. No, not the one in your bathtub. The real deal down under. This underwater paradise is the only living thing visible from space. Talk about showing off, right? Its vibrant coral and diverse marine life make it a must-see. Just remember to pack your snorkel and watch out for the great white sharks. Not that they bite much. While we're down under, let's hop over to the land of the Kiwis. No, not the fruit, the people. New Zealand is not just the backdrop for epic fantasy films. It's also home to breathtaking fjords, towering mountains and serene beaches. And if you're lucky, you might even spot a hobbit or two. Now, if you're a fan of the tango or perhaps a good steak, Argentina is your next stop. With its vibrant culture, delicious food, and stunning landscapes ranging from the towering Andes to the sprawling Pampas, it's a feast for all senses. Just remember, when in Argentina, do as the Argentinians do. Eat, dance, and take a siesta. Who needs air conditioning when you've got such cool places to visit in the south, right? Scene script. Last but not least, let's head north. Don't forget your parkas, folks. As we journey to the north, the temperature drops, but the allure rises. This part of the world is not just about snow and ice. It's about the enchanting landscapes that make you feel as if you've stepped into a fairy tale. Take, for instance, Sweden's Ice Hotel. Imagine a palace crafted entirely from ice and snow, glittering under the pale winter sun. It's not just a hotel, it's a work of art. Reborn anew each winter, each suite is a unique icy masterpiece. And yes, even the beds are made of ice. But don't worry about catching a cold. The reindeer skins and thermal sleeping bags ensure a cozy sleep. Talk about the coolest hotel experience quite literally. Now let's put our parkas to good use and venture further into the Arctic Circle. Here we encounter the queen of the northern skies, the Aurora Borealis. This celestial spectacle of swirling greens, pinks and purples is like a rave party thrown by Mother Nature herself. And the best part? No two performances are ever the same, so if you're lucky enough to see it once, you'll definitely want to come back for the encore. Speaking of encores, have you heard about the annual Walrus Watching Festival in Canada's north? It's a hoot! Thousands of walruses gather, lounge, and occasionally break into what can only be described as a blubbery rendition of a synchronized swimming routine. It's the kind of party where you don't need to know anyone because everyone's too busy having a good time. Of course, we mustn't forget the North's frosty crown jewel, the North Pole. Home to Santa Claus himself, it's a place where magic is as real as the biting chill in the air. But beware, you might want to stay on Santa's good list or you might just find a polar bear in your stocking. And that's the north for you, cold but oh so captivating. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of the most beautiful places on Earth. We've journeyed from the majestic east, with its towering mountains and lush landscapes, to the alluring west, where the sun kisses the horizon in a blaze of colors. We've danced with the penguins in the enchanting south, and felt the cool kiss of the northern lights in the captivating north. All this without even pausing our binge-watching marathon. Now wasn't that more exciting than the view from your couch or the sight of those leftover pizza crusts? But remember folks, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole world out there waiting for you to explore, to laugh, to live. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, take that leap. Until next time, keep exploring, keep laughing, and remember, the world is a beautiful place. You just have to know where to look.